free COD points, A got money. Stop using Razorback. Listen here, buddy, there's a link in the description. I want you to tap, click that, earn points, download the app. Yo, what is up, guys? It's the Goblin, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video. In this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys 10 of my favorite or 10 of the best class ups that I've been using right now. I like to do a video like this every few months just to check in on the class ups that I'm using right now and the ones that are I'm, you know, when I play public matches, I'm level 614. Obviously, you can see these are the best possible classes, the most overpowered ones. So if you guys could all drop a like on this video, I'd appreciate it if you could smash up 2,000 likes. That would be absolutely awesome. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and let's get right into these class setups. So basically, this whole video is just going to be me talking about these classes. I have 10 of them right here. Here. Um, some of them will be with the same guns because there's certain guns in the game that are a lot better and this whole video is basically just gonna be me rambling about classes and if you guys don't know or I think most of you guys know and you guys have heard me say this before a class setup is literally the most important thing to a Call of Duty player even a, a great player say you take a, a good player I'd say myself I'm a pretty good player and you give me a crappy random class I'm not gonna be able to do nearly as well as if I put on one of my own overpowered or best classes and that's why I think these videos are really important important and if you guys want to watch the video or maybe just keep it up in a separate tab and listen to the whole thing I think there's gonna be some very valuable info in this video so let's get into it first off I dropped my controller first off what we have right now is the first class setup is going to be my VMP extended mag class setup basically what this is is quick draw grip and extended mags now the reason I have extended mags is because I don't have scavenger the whole thing about this class what makes it good is that it has flak jacket on it I'm gonna show you guys another VMP class as well this class is basically just flak jacket VMP MP as well as afterburner I've been really running afterburner you'll see on all my classes I pretty much have it on every single one I think um, or at least most of them afterburner is so useful if you use a scuff controller like myself or even if you guys just use like bumper jumper or whatever you guys use as your movement um, I use a scuff controller because there's paddles on the back to jump it makes playing these futuristic Call of Duty games really really easy and I definitely recommend a scuff controller um, I'm actually sponsored by them they gave me a free controller I have a discount code use code goblin if you want to get a scuff a uh, link to their site is in the description if you want to go check them out but that's why I run afterburner on every class if you guys don't jump around as much you definitely should if you can't afford a scuff switch your movement to bumper jumper or some different movement settings so you can jump around a lot more or just get used to maybe playing claw or being able to hit that X or a button and jump in a lot more as you guys can see afterburner flak jacket uh, fast hands blast suppressor pretty standard stuff the second one I have here this is my more up close and personal up in their face hard point not jumping around as much you'll see this one I don't have after burner but I have scavenger and I have fast mags instead of extended mags basically the difference I'd say fast mags is pretty much better in on mostly every gun um, but the fact is on a gun where you don't have scavenger you always want to run extended mags because that gives you ex those extra bullets actually go towards your inventory so for example on this one every time I use my VMP I'm gonna have 56 bullets on this one I'm gonna have 42 now say you start off with four clips every every life I'm gonna have 12 extra bullets in each one I'm gonna end up with 48 extra bullets on this class obviously that doesn't really matter if I have scavenger and that's why when I run scavenger I just use fast hands but that's why I chose to run that this one just flak jacket tack mask this is my nuketown class basically up in their face nuketown hardpoint this is a great class now I have two m8a7 class I'm gonna show you guys here this one I think you guys all know but honestly this one is probably the best class in the game this is the optic formal class what I like to call it I've done videos on this many times like this this class is so good a uh, secondary pistol m8a7 Reflex, stock, and long barrel. I see some people like to run stock and quick draw on M8s. Long barrel is really needed on, on the assault rifles and especially on the burst weapons. It increases, you get so many one burst kills with long barrel. It's so fun. I find that the M8 is probably the most fun gun to use. There's nothing like that feeling of getting a one burst kill and just melting people. Uh, the perks, the exact same as my first VMP class, optic formal class. You want to jump, you can hit so many jump shots because your gun can one burst. You can literally jump over buildings and hit people with one burst. And that's why I run this. And this one is my second M8 class. So the big difference between this one is on maps where I don't, or game modes and maps where I don't need flash jacket maybe just in a TDM or something I'll run this one which is basically very similar to the other one it has a long barrel as well as stock but I throw quick draw on here it's basically just substituting uh, quick draw for flak jacket depending on the scenario flak jacket is probably one of the best perks in the game but if you're playing a TDM on Redwood you probably don't need flak jacket if you're playing hardpoint on Nuketown you better put on flak jacket or you're gonna take 10 deaths from explosives that game next class we have right here is a very good one this one is probably another like second best assault rifle class uh, Man of War, Elo, Stock, Quick Draw, Fast Mags. Um, I said before, never use the Man of War without Fast Mags, and then in a later video, I used it without Fast Mags. 
I, I really still stick to it. You should always use fast mags on Man of War, but sometimes you just don't have enough slots, and it's understandable. I, I like quick draw and grip more than, or quick draw and stock, excuse me, more than fast mags. I find this class is perfect. I give up my third perk. I don't need a third perk. Third perk is probably the weakest slot. Blast suppressor and tack mask are both pretty good, but your first perk, afterburner, scavenger, fast hands, you, you need all this sort of stuff, and that's why I run this Man of War class as my, um, you know, my pure automatic. Assault Rifle Banger class. And this next one is going to be uh, the exact same class as with my VMP, but with the CUDA, Extended Mags, Quick Draw, and Grip. Um, I think those are the exact same attachments as well. It's basically just the same thing. The CUDA and VMP are literally interchangeable. Um, they're up to personal preference. Most people would agree the VMP is better. I say the VMP is better, but you could literally run the exact same classes that I run. So if I give you a CUDA class in a video, you can literally use that with a VMP. If I give you a VMP class, you can use it with a CUDA because the guns are pretty much the same. Only thing with the CUDA is you don't really need grip as much as you would need it on uh look at that variant as much as you would need it on vmp so instead of grip on here you could possibly run um you could run i mean you could mix that up for whatever you want stock fast mags rapid fire long barrel literally anything here i just like grip because i like to be safe i like to have lowest recoil possible and it just you know i'm confident in my gun skill but i want my gun to do what it's supposed to do and that's why i throw that on Next class we have here is a KN44 one. I made a bit of a different KN44 class um, a while ago on one of my vids. A lot of people seem to like that. This is the one I've been rocking with lately. Uh, reflex stock, quick draw, pretty standard. Um, and then I run the, the four uh, four perks situation here, a bunch of double perks. Um, obviously, if it's uh, like I said before, if you're playing a close quarters match, just switch out overclock for flak jacket. But I do like overclock on my assault rifle classes, and I like running it with you know usually combat focus. Um, sometimes I will we'll run kinetic armor or the scythe. Still, combat focus is the one that I use so much because with overclock and a class like this you're going to be able to get those streaks really easily. That's my KN44 class, and I think I have, yeah, I have a similar class here with the HVK stocking. Yeah, this is like the exact same class with the HVK. Um, HVK and KN44 are very similar guns. HVK has a bit of a higher fire rate. HVK is a more close range, uh, faster killer gun, but the KN44 is more of a reliable gun. That's what I would put them on. Um, I use the same class setups for both. That's not really a problem there. Um, this is a really good assault rifle class for fully automatic ones. You could run this class up with the man of war and give up fast mags but the reason i run a different one with the man of war is because with the man of war the reload time has been nerfed so so bad it's similar to like like vmp cuda man of war they've nerfed these guns in aim down sights and reload time so many times and that's why you have to sort of customize the class setup around that next one i have here this is a dlc class uh, not everyone has a peacekeeper but i like the peacekeeper elo stock quick draw fast mags um, similar to the Man of War class. I think the Peacekeeper is really fun, and this is a really good one. I have stock, quick draw, and fast mags. That is basically when I'm trying to turn my assault rifle into a running gun style, you know, play style, and when I'm trying to get up in their face, and that's what I do with the Peacekeeper. I have the FFAR as well. I think this one's only, yeah, like level 11. I haven't played with it that much. I have all my other assault rifles maxed out. Obviously, I do play this game quite a bit, whether it's playing competitive UMGs, or playing public matches, nuke town, domination, whatever you want to say. But here we go. The last class here that I have for you guys, this one is a little bit of a treat. I always leave this class on. I don't use this class the most often because the Vesper, it's a love-hate sort of thing with this gun. It's been nerfed so many times. I like looking at the variants of the things, but this gun has been nerfed so many times and buffed so many times. At the current state that it's in, it's pretty weak right now. It's really good close range, but other than that, it's really nothing. And with the Vesper, I run grip, you need grip. 100% grip, 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 grip every time on the Vesper. Fast mags and extended mags because of how fast this fire rate is on this gun. Where can we see the stats for the gun? Um, right here. Look at the fire rate on this gun. It's two points away from the top. And sometimes these, these stats on the game aren't the most accurate. But this one seems very accurate, as you guys can see. Um... The fire rate on the Ves Vesper is insane, and that basically mean, means you need grit as well as you're going to run out of ammo fast, which I have fast mags and extended mags to combat that. And then the perks, it's really just up in your face thing. You need scavenger on the Vesper. You shoot bullets so quick, you literally run out of ammo after two or three kills. You're never going to be able to get on a streak if you don't have scavenger. And then I have tack mask, flak jacket, and that's basically it. These are the 10 class ups that I've been rocking with. If you guys wonder why all the class ups say the same name, it's because usually when I'm you know fiddling around with my class ups, I'll just do this. Uh, copy, paste it, and then change the stuff to what I like. I find that's the easiest way and the fastest way to change my classes. That's basically how I do it. As far as specialists, lately I've been rocking with kinetic armor a little bit more, but 
combat focus is still my go-to. I have so many kills with combat focus. It's always been my go-to. And anyone that plays around streaks, definitely combat focus is definitely great for them. Even for non literally any streak, combat focus is going to help you as long as you capitalize when you pop it. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys did enjoy this, the top 10 best, most overpowered class setups right now. I thought I'd do one more of these videos before we go into the Black or the Infinite Warfare beta. This will probably be my last top 10 class setups. Obviously, I still have a few more things to finish on overpowered classes. I want you guys to let me know in the comments of this video. What guns do you want me to do for overpowered classes? Because I still have a lot to do um, that I haven't done yet. And I still have, you know, I have like four or five ideas of overpowered classes I have to do. Um, especially I'm going to be bringing out some shotguns, some LMGs and stuff like that. Because I've done most of the ARs and SMGs. But let me know which gun you want me to do down in the comment section down below i have done most of the ars and smgs so you know try to stick away from you know, don't say give me a vmp class because i literally just gave you two you know what i'm talking about but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video if you guys could drop a like on this thing subscribe for a cookie i'd really appreciate that and also if you guys want to earn some free call of duty points there's a link down in the description you guys can click that it's titled uh click here for free cod points you can install the app and start earning some points right there i would really appreciate if you guys could do that and drop a like you know subscribe all that stuff really helps me out thanks for watching guys sub for a cookie and don't looky and i'm out Peace. Thanks for watching.